Hello, Ashley Rose here for another YouTube video. I'm outside today in our backyard because I felt like it was nice and I wanted to try it out. Um, so today I wanted to just talk about um, some stuff that I've learned over the years from college and reflecting on my growth since I've graduated college and being almost 23 years old now. And we'll do it with some hard lemonade. <laughs> so, yum. Let's begin. All right, so, number one, I want to do a quick reflection on relationships. I think um, in terms of relationships, over the years, I've learned a lot and learned to be a bit more chill, perhaps, in relationships. And also, I think, like, have a healthier way of interacting in relationships. And I would say the biggest part of that for me has been expectations. And so in a relationship, like earlier on, I think I held a lot of really specific kinds of expectations for my partner. Um, that came from societal views of relationships and what they should be, um, from things I'd heard and seen before, uh, read in books, seen in movies, you know, that kind of stuff. And so I think like, this should, it's a very dangerous word because when you submit yourself to a certain expectation of behavior, that's both very limiting and also not super fair to reality and to the uniqueness and individuality of the person that you're with. So while I do think there are certain things about relationships that are common and can be perhaps expected across various ones, like liking the person, spending time together, hopefully trusting them and that kind of thing. I think relationships in general are very unique from one to the next because the people that you'll be with are unique. And so I do think like prescribing specifically to like expectations and ways you think it should be going instead of really following your needs and the needs of your partner um, specifically can be a dangerous thing. And I definitely fell into that trap a lot earlier on when I started dating, like towards the beginning of college. Um, and I think it just leads you to being unhappy a lot more and you and your partner both feeling disappointed and upset uh, with each other. So I think, yeah, there's a distinction there between expressing your needs and your desires in a relationship and expressing that to your partner and kind of like making sure that those are met for yourself and for your partner versus expecting certain things just because you think that's the way it should be and then like kind of forcing things to be a certain way and to be a little bit less natural because of it so that's relationship tip from yours truly <laughs> Uh, let's see, in other realms, we'll take a new sip for a new question. Um, I think in terms of being myself, I learned a lot over the four years of college as well. Um, I know like at the beginning, I felt like more comfortable talking to people than I had in the past, but still kind of like nervous about making friends and and not really finding my, my true people right away, which I think is super common. Like when you first meet people at college, you're meeting people in your orientation groups or in your dorms and this and that, and you can't necessarily expect that they will be your friends for all four years. They might be, they might not be. But I know when I met people, I was like, oh my gosh, I found my people and I'm done and that's it. And so I think like that was pretty devastating for me to realize that, that they weren't going to be my friends for the whole time. But I do think that's also a process of growth. And I think it's also totally fine to have that 
switch and shift over the years. Um, and you're really like figuring out like who, who are the people who get you and who like the same things that you do or who you feel supported with or you feel comfortable and good with. So I guess that's more about friendships, but that was a big thing that I learned my first year is like, it's okay to take your time with that. And so spending time with people who aren't your friends forever is also fine and you can have good memories and those are worthwhile even if the friendship doesn't last forever. So it's okay to like take your time and later be able to find like your people that you really feel good with. Um, and so I think that that goes hand in hand with me feeling comfortable being myself because I think like for a while I felt like I couldn't really make friends unless I already had a friend group and I felt like stable that people liked me and that, you know, I was like a good person to be around and all of this stuff. And so that's a little bit of external validation. And I think that when I started not trying to force things and just trying to like to express myself without so much of um, overthinking before. And that's, it's kind of hard to figure out like how I did that because that was, it's so easy to say like, just be yourself, say what you're thinking and, and feeling and people will come to you. It's really easy to say that, but in practice, it's really hard. And I know like in high school, I found it super difficult sometimes to know what to say to people and not because I didn't want to or I wasn't social or I was feeling self-conscious at least consciously um but because I was like I just like literally don't know how like who I am or what to say I don't know how to express it and so it's a little bit of like even if you want to fake it until you make it sometimes it's hard to know how to be yourself and do that but I think for me, just like over the years and interacting with different people and being in different spaces and being a leader in some of those spaces more, um, I think that helped me to just like kind of learn like more the way that I tend to interact. <laughs> but yeah, so like learn more the way that I like tend to interact and the way that, um, that I would like to talk to people who I know really well and people I don't. And it just started to come more naturally. So I do think it's a process. It's hard to do, but um, if you continue to interact with truly like really nice people, really welcoming people, then at some point you're going to feel more comfortable interacting with everyone. And you'll just find yourself, even if you don't feel like in the moment comfortable specifically with the person you'll find yourself saying things that represent yourself like in a, a more authentic way i think so that's kind of um something i learned about like being myself and representing myself and i will say i actually found that i think a lot of that came in exploring my identity further and so i in the course of college figured out that I am bisexual and that was this really like starting that process figuring that out in the summer between sophomore and junior year of college now before that happened I was already getting closer to people and um, getting to know getting like more closer friends there and all this stuff um, but I did find that like once I was able to sort of figure that out for myself and, and think about what that meant for me and kind of express that more. I found that it helped me feel like less indecisive and feel like I could be more myself in a way that was totally unexpected to me. But um, I have always been a really indecisive person and I haven't known what I want or my motivation and I really try to logic my way out of those things a lot and be like, well, I think that I want this for this reason, but I can't be 100% sure. So I'm just gonna think about it a lot and really try to like analyze it and know the purpose before I try to do something. And I think like tapping into a little bit more of like the emotions and feeling a little bit more of what that is like helped me um, to know more what I wanted. And so even though along the way, I second guessed a lot of it and overthought a lot of it, um, I think that like on the other side, I came out being, um, came out. <laughs> Um, I came out being 
a little bit more decisive and a little bit more confident in myself and in what I want and how to figure that out. So that's something that's a really great sort of side effect of that. And it's, it's nice to kind of be able to know more about yourself just in general, like figuring out aspects of your identity that are new to you or that you weren't really super conscious of is like a really exciting thing. So that was a fun college experience for me to figure that out. Um, okay, I hope that that sort of explained to you guys a little bit of the personal growth that I feel like I experienced during college. Um, I could tell lots of college stories um, about about growth and bad things and good things and hard things and easy things and things that like added to that growth and struggle and learning, but um, maybe another time. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can like it, comment below and subscribe to my channel as always. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.